guys, I'm Emmanuel from the Salt Life team. The other day I went out with Captain Jason from Fish Cool Runnings Charters. We caught a beautiful kingfish. Alright, we got a ton of action. <laughs> within like five minutes. We jumped off two sails within about five minutes. We got one sail to the boat earlier, got that catch, got a kingfish. Now we're tight on another fish here on the flat line. Cranking on him, it's a fishy day out here. You really never know what you have on. If I could guess, I'd say a kingfish. Maybe even a bonita. Got a nice size kingfish here. No. So we cleaned that fish up the other day, cutting it into steaks, and then we turned those into nuggets. I'm gonna roll in those clips here, and then we're gonna come back and make some fish and chips. Alrighty guys, so we have our kingfish here. We're getting ready to stake this one up. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. We have our serrated knife. This is gonna help us cut the actual steaks. Then we have our fillet knife. This is what's gonna help us cut open the stomach, get out all of its organs, and then we'll be able to stake it up. So we're gonna start off with our fillet knife here, and we're gonna open the fish's stomach being careful not to go too deep in there and cutting open the actual stomach. We just wanna access the stomach. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull out all of its insides. So we're gonna reach in here, grab out all of this here, which is its stomach, its heart, and cut that out. There we go. So now we have our kingfish here with no insides and it is all ready to get all staked up. So we have our serrated knife. So we're gonna start here at the tail and just cut the tail off just like that. So what we're gonna do is take our knife moving from the tail towards the head. So when you're cutting your steaks, you wanna make sure you don't cut them too thick. I would recommend anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half. It just can taste kind of weird when you cook them and they're too thick, it can actually taste pretty dry. So you wanna make sure you have it about to an inch to an inch and a half. So as you guys can see down here towards the tail area, it's super small. So I like to start up here a bit just so we can actually get a nice size steak. So we're gonna come right here and we're just gonna go ahead and cut this away for now. We're gonna save this for later. So as you guys can see, we just cut off that tail area and there you have it, our kingfish is all cut up and now we're gonna start cutting our steaks just like that. You got the skin on the outside, then you got your kingfish meat right there on the inside. You can actually also come in here and you push these balls right out of your filet and then you have kingfish nuggets just like that. So we're gonna come in with our bowl, get those in there, and we're gonna keep doing the same thing. So there you guys have it. Made ourselves some kingfish nuggets. Alrighty guys, so you saw me clean up that kingfish the other day. Now we have these nuggets and your first step is to pat them dry to make sure they take on the seasoning well and fry well. Now we're just gonna come in with another paper towel on top of them and just pat them dry. Make sure they're not damp anymore. So now we have our nuggets in a plate. We're gonna lightly season them and then we're gonna dust them with flour so we can dredge them. So we're gonna start off with our paprika here. Just gonna get a light coat, don't wanna go too heavy. So now we're gonna come in with our black pepper. We're gonna come in with our salt. So now we're gonna come in with our all-purpose flour. Just getting that everywhere. And this is gonna help to completely dry our nuggets so when we dredge them, the batter sticks well. We're just gonna go ahead and get these all mixed around. Get that seasoning and that flour everywhere. Making sure they're fully coated. And there you go. So now it's time to make the dredge. So to start off making our dredge, we're gonna use some all-purpose flour, some cornstarch, some baking powder, some salt and pepper, and paprika. So we added about a cup of flour in here, and now we're gonna add a half cup of cornstarch. So now we're gonna come in with about one and a half teaspoons, not too much baking powder. Now we're gonna come in with our, so now we're gonna come in with our light beer and we're gonna add eight ounces of it, which will be half of this. So now we're gonna whisk it up with our fork. 
Just gonna whip it up till we have a nice consistency there. So now we're gonna take our nuggets, get them in our dredge, make sure they're fully coated. Then we're gonna come back in our plate. We're just gonna continue this process for the rest of our nuggets. And there we have it. All of our fish nuggets all covered in our dredge. So now we have our potato. We're gonna be making some chips with them. And while we're cutting up our potato, we're gonna heat up our pan. So we're gonna cut our potato laterally in half, just like this. Now we're gonna lay them down like that, making it a lot easier to cut into fries. So now we're gonna pat our potatoes dry, and then once we fry them, then we'll season them. So I'm gonna come in with our coconut oil, or you can use vegetable oil, something that you can fry at high heat. I know coconut oil doesn't do well with super high heat, but I like using it because I prefer the taste. So now we're gonna come in with our fries. So a trick to not splash oil is to just drop them in the pan just like that. Now we're gonna let these cook until they turn golden brown. Then it'll be time to get in our fish nuggets. So now we're gonna start getting some of these out of the oil onto our paper towel. And then we're gonna season them with some salt. So we have our chips all done. Now we're gonna get in our fish and do the same thing. So once you start seeing a little bit of brown, you're gonna wanna flip them. These chunks aren't super thick. So you're gonna wanna flip them pretty quick. So our fish is finally done cooking. We're gonna move them over to our paper towel so the oil drains. And there we go. Got ourselves some fish and chips. So we have our fish and chips all plated up. Gonna go ahead and squeeze some lemon on it. Now we're gonna go in for our first bite. Let's choose that one right there. Pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this meal inside, finish it up. If you guys try this out, leave it in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.